Understanding the Moon's Phases, a tutorial. You've likely been outside at various times of night and day and observed that the moon looks different on different days. It's a common misconception that the moon is only up at night, and many people are surprised to realize that you can sometimes see the moon during the day. The times that the moon rises and sets changes with the moon's phases, so the moon is frequently visible during the day. It usually just gets lost in the glare of the much brighter sun. What causes the moon's phases? In other words, why does the moon look different on different days of the month? Discuss your ideas with your partner or group. The moon orbits the Earth as the Earth orbits the Sun. The configuration of the Earth, Sun, and Moon on any given day determines the phase of the moon we see on Earth. In this diagram, we're looking down on Earth from above the North Pole. And note that this diagram is not to scale. This means that objects in the diagram might not have the correct relative proportions. The moon is a sphere shaped like a ball, and the sun only lights up half the moon at any given time. For example, this is the configuration of the Earth, sun, and moon during new moon, when the moon appears dark to observers from Earth. The moon is between the Earth and the sun. This is what things look like from overhead. Remember that this diagram is not drawn to scale. Let's see what this looks like from the side. The sun is lighting up the side of the moon that faces away from Earth. A viewer from Earth sees a dark or new moon. Let's pan around. This is what the side facing the sun looks like. A viewer from Earth sees a dark or new moon. The sun always lights up half the moon in this way. The moon phase we see depends on how much of the lit portion of the moon is facing the Earth. Let's look at another example, a first quarter moon. The name first quarter is a bit confusing. The name comes from the fact that this moon phase appears one quarter of the way through the moon's monthly cycle. But when the phase is first quarter, you actually see one half of the moon. The sun's rays are shining from the right, lighting up the right half. Half of the lit side and half of the dark side are facing Earth. This half and half view is called a first quarter moon. The sequence that follows shows the moon completing a full cycle from new moon to full moon and back as it completes an orbit around the Earth over the course of almost one month. You start at new moon, you go to a waxing crescent moon. Waxing means that we're seeing more and more of the lit side of the moon. First quarter, waxing gibbous, full moon. Now we're at waning gibbous, and waning means that we're seeing less and less of the lit side of the moon. Third quarter, waning crescent, and back to new moon. Now it's time to check your understanding. In the diagram below, the moon is shown at four possible positions relative to the Earth and Sun. Click on the image that shows where the moon is when an observer in the northern hemisphere sees the moon looking like the image to the right. Remember that we're looking down on the Earth from above the North Pole, and this diagram is not to scale. No, that's not it. Try drawing the Earth-Moon-Sun diagram on a piece of paper and shading the light and dark halves of the moon for each part of the orbit. What would the moon look like to someone on Earth at each position? Go back and try again. Right. When the moon is in this position, Sunlight is shining from the right side of the screen, and the sun lights up the right half of the moon. 
the viewer from the Northern Hemisphere sees a waning gibbous moon. Let's try another one. When the Earth, Sun, and Moon are in these relative positions, what does the moon look like to a viewer in the Northern Hemisphere? Click on one of the moon images below to choose your answer. Nope, that's not it. Remember to try drawing a diagram and shading the light and dark sides of the moon. Rotate your paper and imagine what a viewer on Earth would see. Try again. Right. This is a waxing crescent moon. Nice work. The next time you're out looking at the moon, try to imagine where it is in its orbit relative to the Earth and Sun, and think about why the moon's phases change every day.